collected it and made the surfaces older than a fair number of the audience. Okay? And a skilled artisan can turn this into an arrowhead or a, a scraper of some sort in just a few years so the individual minerals can separate and grow big. This one cooled off in just a few tenths of seconds and turned solid all at once. You weren't expecting that, were you? Pass it over. There's your approach plate set in the back of your flyer. Two feet of training jets. Watch your flat speed approach and coming that way. Once you're in the shuttle, you don't have your approach plate on you. We've done that enough times that we know where it looks like. Um, I, I worked at NASA Goddard, and so um, I was part of like the astronomy club, so I helped them with the top so Oh, you. thank you all for coming. I assume you are an astronaut. I am. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. The, the uniform gave me away. Well, right now, what are you doing now? Working on that, and then, uh, and then NASA. So while we have these commercial companies helping us getting back to the low Earth orbit, we're doing that. Yeah. And then, you know, my other favorite thing is Saturn. Did you, you didn't like Saturn. mountains inside the craters and see how they're casting a shadow. Now if you were to stand here long enough you could watch the shadows move and change. Looking here. Yeah. 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 Should That's the pretty big. Io is one of the most exciting objects in the solar system. What is it? Io, the closest one. The closest it's Jupiter moon. It's most exciting. Well, yeah, because it's... Uh, wow. And then um, those two moons will actually, through the night, switch places. Because they're moving that quickly. Okay. It's uh, the two close are Io and Europa. Okay. And then Ganymede and then close. Yes. Oh, that's sweet. That's really cool. So do you work at JPL? I'm RPC trained on robotics. Uh, we have Russian language training. We fly in a Russian vehicle right now. Oh, so you, you, are you fluent in Russian then? Not, I wouldn't say fluent, but not bad. <laughs> Did you speak any other languages beforehand? I spoke a little bit of Spanish, okay. but... Uh, we good? Thank you. I hope this summer... Yeah, that's good. We move? Oh, you should see all four. Yeah, I can see all four. We've already been there, but we haven't. I think it's more of a question. Well, no, yeah. To me, it's more of a of a, of a question of living off the planet on another on another on another planet. And the moon is kind of like a planet, you know, it's a place you can live. Right, so we're gonna ask who's ready to go to the stars. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You're my people. I, I I figured that would be a deal. And that's one or the other as sort of the sets of questions that inspire you. But what we say at NASA is. Um, we exist. Um, another thing we say at NASA is NASA the best place to work in the country. It is, but it's also something that's in your grasp, in your reach, thanks to NASA. Anyway, got any questions? Go ahead. Um, Shuttle missions. We visited. She just lived live, live there. Yeah, she's going to be there for six months, probably on a Soyuz, going up on a, on a Russian spaceship. So we have a wide variety of backgrounds and. Uh, Seventeen to twenty nineteen. Uh, there are a number of companies out there that are working hard. You know, SpaceX is probably the one you hear most about, uh, but we've got several other companies out there, uh, Sierra Nevada, Blue Origin, and other ones out there working on building uh, American-made vehicles and their, 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 their flight test systems. Those things are, are on launch pads you know, without people on a point. My, my first spacewalk, I didn't look around much at all because uh, I was, I think I was more concerned about, you know, I didn't have that much time. And that's my, 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 my second flight, the less spacewalk. I actually got finished up before my partner back for about 20 minutes. It was something we had to do eventually, but there's no real rush. So I was like, okay. And I just went out and hooked my... Uh... Uh, but you know, I'm all ready to go do that. We open the hatch and I go out and we are over top of the Amazon rainforest. And it is a clear day. A really complicated rack system. We had to go mount these things in this kind of weird key and lock system. And they trained us on the ground and it was still kind of like we had like, the right just zen moment to get this thing right in the right spot and put it in there. Um, it took like four...